This is Raylene with Raylene Creates. Today, I'm going to do a flip through of my war binder. If you wanna see what I've done inside of this uh, skinny happy planner, stick around. my war binder I actually it is actually the wrong wrong uh, skinny happy planner and uh, I just had to have this when it first came out but I honestly to be very transparent didn't know what I was going to use it for I already have a faith section of my classic planner so I really wasn't really sure but I really love this and it was on sale so and I love a good sale so we're gonna do a flip through. I'm still setting it up. Things will probably change a little bit, but I wanna give you a quick look at how I've set it up and what my plans are for this war binder is, is what I'm calling it. Now, you're probably saying, where does that terminology come from? It comes from two places. Um, <clears throat> there was the movie War Room and, um, and it basically is about being intentionally prayerful. Secondly, there was a book by Priscilla Schreier, who was the um, actress in War Room, who had a, um, a book or a study called Fervent. I did that study many years ago, um, but over the last... Um, over the year, last year or so, I have been um, either ministering to different people or talking to different people who are dealing with something. And they, we all think it's that person or that thing that's causing us. But we have to recognize that we're in a spiritual battle. And so, and I, I don't want us to give the enemy too much power. But at the end of the day, we have to recognize that there is an enemy and scripture tells us that that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and high places so this journal or a uh, binder is a place for me to focus on recognizing that i'm already victorious because god has already won the victory uh it has claimed the victory for me when I focus on that and that becomes my, my goal and recognizing it, it helps me um, overcome a lot of things that uh, might be going on in my life. Uh, James um, 1 tells us that trials come to make us strong. So this is my effort for 2020 to be intentional about recognizing that this means war. But the positive thing and the joy comes from that we're already victorious. And if we fight our battles on our knees through prayer, that we can claim the victory. So I have here the Faith Warrior um, sticker book, which is one that I use all the time for um, my faith planning. So I used it a little bit um, in here, but I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and let's get started. So this was, as I mentioned, the wrong, wrong planner, okay? And this was the original cover, okay? Uh, actually, it looks like this, and it had a different... Well, when I realized that I wanted to use this for a, um, a war binder, I struggled with this cover, uh, even though I like it. So what I've done, I've done is I flipped the covers of this skinny happy planner and I put the wrong wrongs in the back. So they're still visible, but I have this pink black uh, backing, but then I have these beautiful flowers. If you've watched any of my videos already, you'll know that um, I love honestly flowers and they bring me joy and there's a place for me to to um to just it's my happy place so um so this cover was perfect for me um and so what i wanted to do was put a, a quick sticker on um to show that it was my war binder and also uh the word that kept coming to me was i fight all my battles on my knees so this is just a sticker i printed on um regular um, Avery white sticker paper that has the words, 
this means war. I fight all my battles on my knees. And then it has my name and the year. My goal is because this is a planner, uh, is to accomplish this in one year. Now, I've already gotten this kind of thick. I hope I don't have to go to extender rings, but if I have to, I will. But my goal is to do more, um, um, not so much faith planning, but more or less journaling here. So let's crack it open a little bit and see what's going on. So what I've done is I've taken the cover and because I flipped it, uh, the words live creatively was actually upside down here. So I placed the sticker here and just kind of decor decoratively done this. So I then created this pocket and placed this here. I went online and I wanted some um, scripture cards and I found these printables that actually gives me various scriptures that I could focus on during the week. Uh, if there's times when I just need a little boost of something, these are right there for me. Okay. And if I can get them back in there. Okay. Then these are just the half sheets that um, what Happy Planner has. And I like this one. It says, my life is joyful. And then this was in the, I want to say the Teresa Collins. Yes, the Teresa Collins um, uh, Be Happy box. I didn't know where I was going to use it, but I have found a place. And so what I've done is I've printed out, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I also have Railing Creates, which is my planning, Bible journaling, as well as um, as crafting Instagram account. But I also have Raylene Speaks, which is the umbrella for the ministry that that I am that I have. And uh, if you follow Raylene Speaks, you'll find daily devotionals, and I call it the daily dose of ray of ray of sunshine. So if you're looking to be encouraged or looking for for uh, daily doses of something that's positive, then go ahead and follow me on Raylene Speaks. So in here, what I've done is I've printed out some of, of my different um, quotes that I have, quotes from my book, and I've placed them in here. Again, a place for me to be encouraged, and I might use them in my planning sections for each week, but I wanted to have everything in one place. Now, I am not a, a, a sticky note type person, but I didn't think, um, I thought I would might use these. And so they came in a, a wrong, wrong pack. So I just stuck those there. So here's my title page. Um, not the best handwriting here, but I have my, my Railing Speaks logo. And then I use some of the botanical flowers in it. This little clip here came from um, a Carpe Diem uh, pack of uh, uh, enamel uh, stickers um, or um, clips. And so that's there. And all it's doing is holding together my uh, year at a glance. Okay. I don't look at it a lot. So it's a perfect place for it. Now, uh, I believe right here, there was just this note page. And so what I've done is I printed this. Uh, actually, I made uh, something from Cricut a long time ago and uh, to print in a journal that I was giving as a gift. And so this was left over. So I placed this here, Deuteronomy 6 and 5, and some flowers. On this page will be my, um, my habit tracker. Um, my goal is to be in the Bible every day every day of the week. Um, even if I'm only focusing here once a week, I'm going to be in my faith planner or studying my Bible, Bible journaling. So this will be a, a daily tracker for me to be able to, and I, I printed this online, um, uh, as a tracker, it was a free download. And so, and I just shrunk it so it would fit. And then there's one, um, I highlighted the months. And so this is where I will track my daily studies. And then I've left room for me to do a lot of journaling. As things come to me, I do a lot of traveling. And as I'm traveling, this will go with me and I will be able to uh, focus on it. This came from the book Fervent. And so this is one of the quotes. Nothing penetrates the human heart as does a personal fervent prayer in its heaven sent response. That motivates me to know that when, when I send up a prayer that God is listening. And so I put that here. And these are just one of those, um, I believe they're like memory, uh, the memory keeping. And this one's for the mini side. And I just stuck this in here and I'm going to probably print some more little um, quotes there to just encourage me. 
These are mini half sheets that um, these actually is the Stargazer. I believe they're both Stargazer. And I just put them there for for um, for places for me to journal. And I just wanted some, some notes there. Now, I um, also have a video on goal planning and and uh, as well as vision board. If you have not checked that video out, I'm going to leave an end card for you to check that video out. And so when you see that video, you'll see that I have a vision board that opens out. Well, as I was working on this, I felt like I didn't want a vision board because I already have one over here, but I wanted something that was going to keep me focused and very visual for what my goal for this was. So like the other one, it does fold out and it opens this way and it folds this way. And so what I've done is I took the B, um, I want to say it's the um, Teresa Collins um be happy box. I'm not sure if they're still available. But I think they may be. I absolutely love this, this pink and the, the black. And so I use this sticker book to create most of this. This was nothing but um, um, some, some washi tape that I used to put several of these papers together to create this fold out. And then I love the quotes from Teresa Collins. And so these quotes are there. And um, so as I'm working on my goals, I haven't gotten there yet because I, uh, again, this is for 2020. I'm going to take my time, but I wanted to show you where I'm going with this. And I'm going to work. I'm probably going to have other scriptures, my life verses. Everything is going to be in here to keep me intentional in my study time. Okay. And then, so here was just words uh, about Christ. I did a Bible study years ago and these were printables. And so I just reused them. Okay. I created a little pocket here. Um, what I did was I used the, the um, this is a guide and I created uh, this and then put uh, the triangle. If you wanna see this and how I created that, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, leave me a comment anyway that if you're enjoying this or if you want something different. I know my channel is new, but I really want to provide you with things that, that interest you. So. This was just that. And then I have from um, my Bible journaling, I have these stickers for study plans and whatever. And so I just stuck these in here so that I can do them and be able to Bible journal on the run. Okay. So then another one of the, the cards, I do love this one about realize how blessed you are every day. I want to focus on how blessed I am. Then I have a check it off. This is for, um, it has the, I don't know if you can see it. It has the, the lines for, um, for journaling lines. And so I use this one a lot and I have a couple of these. And so I wanted to stick this in here in case I need it when I am actually journaling. Okay. As I mentioned, there was a study I did a few years ago that had these words on it. And it was about Christ. Uh, we serve, we're strengthened, we restore, and confidence, and establish. All of those words came from this study. Well, I had some uh, of the uh, prompts and the scriptures left over. So what I've done is I, they were already printed on sticker paper. So I just placed them here, the scripture, as well as a question. How has God's grace blessed your life? So this is a place for me to journal. Now, this is one that if after I've done my 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 weekly one if I want to continue to journal continue to study this will be prompts to help me as well as ignite my Bible journaling time so I have one for every you know uh, several different ones and I just cover it and then I left space for another one okay now um, on illustrated faith website they have a lot of free printables um, and this one was their um, November 2019 gratitude documented and it gives you various different scriptures for the entire month and so again for me to be able to have additional jumping off points these were scriptures that uh, God winks his rainbows and meekness and self-control so this gives me different topics if I don't journal it here I will journal it in my faith planner um, but this is, was great for me. I, I made this particular divider. I wanted to have different sections for every um, one. This was going to be the start of my um, 
my dailies. This is going to be some of my extra uh, various different um, journaling sections. And again, this is where I was doing that study. So I wanted to have these sections. So I created this one with some standard scrapbook paper uh, that was double sided. And that was and then I decorated it with the actual um, scripture prompts. And then I also used the uh, additional sticker. This means war right here. Okay, you'll see this all throughout this uh, particular um, planner because that's the theme. Okay, now there is a song by Charles Jenkins that basically says this means war. I absolutely love this song. And it's a song that I sing all the time. It's one that I even use it on my playlist for exercising. And it is it has a really catchy tune, but it really means something. It tells you that the enemy cannot steal your joy. He can't have your family. He can't do any of those things. So what I've done is I've printed that out <clears throat> uh, and placed it here for me to reflect on. And I just kind of decorated it with some stickers. So it is something, I love songs. And that's another thing that I plan to do. Whatever song that motivates me or even thinks about um, um, the battle that I might be in, another, uh, another song that I cannot wait to print is No Weapon Formed Against Me Shall Prosper uh, by Fred Hammond. So those are script uh, songs that just really place me in a, realizing that I know God got this. I'm not going to worry about it. So I've already printed out War by Charles Jenkins. I'm going to, as I, as uh, the songs come to me, I will add them here. I've also added places to write lyrics as I find them or anything that motivates me about the war or the battle or the victory that God has given me. So what I've done is I've taken some of the half sheet notes and I have come and just added some, um, some decoration to each page just to have an additional place for me to write. I didn't do them at all because again, I want to be able to do some things during the year. Okay. Now this is, um, was going to be my cover page. And then it was like, I got all this done and this was my cover page. But I wrote here, we fight our battles on our knees using some botanical stickers. My scripture for the year for this war binder is evening and morning and at noon, I will complain and murmur and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from the battle, which is against me. God will hear and answer them. That's from Psalms 55, 17 and 19. So this one lets me know that even though I may be complaining, even though it may be difficult, even though it may be hard during this time, I know all I have to do is, is um, give it to God, pray about it, and he will fight the battle for me. And he hears me and he answers me. So again, what I've done here is in this section here, and this, um, I want to kind of laugh about this. This clip is about, I want to say 10 years old. Uh, when I was scrapbooking, I, um, I made these, um, I had several of them. I think, oh, actually here's another one that I've made and I use them every now and then. And for some reason, because I've had them so long, I don't want to get rid of them, but I love these and I have flowers everywhere. I have paper flowers. I have silk flowers. And so all this was, was a silk flower that I put and, and hot glued it in the front in the front, and then I clip it into my binder. And I think both of these are about 10 years old. So I just used it because I thought it fit with the decor. But this one is, and I want to show it to you. I created a printable. And I want to thank the, the beautiful ladies on, on Facebook, in a Facebook group that asked me, they, they showed interest in the study that I'm doing in this uh, war room. So um, I have a downloadable um, printable that you can use to follow along with the same study that I'm going to do. Uh, I wrote this study. Um, it is... Um, it, when I say I wrote this study, basically I went through each one of these scriptures and figured out where what scriptures I wanted to study for the year. And so I have 52 weeks of spiritual victory scripture, allowing you to go deeper in the word. Yes. You want to write them, study the scripture while praying, seeking God for guidance and directions. 
You want to journal about what God is speaking and remember that God is faithful and honors our requests. He fights for us. So if you're interested in this, this printable, it will be in the, uh, a link will be in the description below. So what I've done is because this was originally created for the, um, classic happy planner. And you see that I am going to put this in my, in my regular faith section of my classic planner, just so I know where I'm at, even though I'm working here. So what I've done here is this is the this means war section and it allows me a place to journal, but then it will open up and I've cut down the printable to fit. Now, I guess I could have printed this in such a way that um, it would have print right there, but I didn't want to. I literally wanted the, the cut and feel that it would give. And one day I might, if someone's really interested and in reformat it for um, the skinny planner. But I really like this, that I have my weeks across here. I have the um, what I'm gonna be doing. I have the theme, I have my scripture, and then the title here. And then I just put a few stickers there. Again, I'm not trying to go over the top with decoration. It's more important that I spend time in the word and listen to God doing this than a whole bunch of decorating. Okay. So now you're getting into the planner, the meat. This is actually what came in the planner. Everything over here was added. All of this is addition. This is how you purchased it. So each week or each month has its own thing. I may come back and redo each cover as I handle each month. Right now, I'm not worried about that. I will take care of that at a later date. This one here is perfect for January. It's a good day to have a good day. I like that. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But as you, what I loved about this, this um, skinny happy planner was the fact that it had these uh, it didn't have the full month at a glance that we have in our regular classic or the big happy planner. It has this list. So what I've done, and let me see if I can pull it out a second here. Let's go back here. I'm going to pull this study out. Okay. So what I've done here is you'll see that James 4 and 7 is the scripture for the week. So I've written the scripture for each week on this particular sheet. So I will see at a glance what passages I will be covering for the month. I also will do some decorating here, some talk, you know, um, some important points here. Um, again, each month I'll do it just like I would on my regular happy planner. And then I am going to, for each week, if that's James four and seven, I'm going to decorate a little bit and I'm going to have a place to write that scripture. I'm going to have a place to journal that scripture. I'm going to illustrate my faith uh, decoratively in this particular week. Also, I will pull out my Bible journal. And uh, if you really want to follow me, you want to make sure you subscribe because I am going to be working through this in my Bible uh, as well, doing some Bible journaling. Um, so whatever I do here, I'm probably going to mimic it in my Bible journal. So at the end of the year, I should have at least 52 entries in my Bible journal, as well as a completed war binder. Okay. So honestly, that's the, the gist of it. Every month I have all the scriptures done. I've listed them. And uh, so they're ready. And um, as I as I find things, I love to get scripture cards. If I find them, I'll be putting them in pockets in the front. And then in the back, I just, I, was going to put a pocket here, but because I like these girls right here, I'm going to leave that alone. And um, because it's getting thick, I doubt seriously I'm going to add any more pages per se. I probably add, you know, uh, just more decoration. And if it gets thicker, I will extend it. Well, that is it for this flip through. I hope you enjoyed my war binder. I'm just, I'm so excited about digging into this for the new year. Um, uh, I was so tempted to start trying, but I know that I'm already working on several studies inside of my, um, in my faith planner. Matter of fact, let me show you something in my faith planner. So in my faith planner, and I'm trying to finish out the year here. So I, 
don't want to get jump into the new war binder uh, too quickly. But here, um, what I do is I have, and I'm going to kind of move these pretty quickly because these are my prayer lists. If someone's told me to pray for them, this is all written down in here. Your name is here, what I'm praying for, what responses I received are so there. The Bible study section. And I also have a month. So this is November. But before that, I have several different Bible studies, different journals, um, um, journaling prompts that I've done. But this one, is my favorite. This is I love you version on my phone. Uh, actually, uh, the seminary that I work for, uh, we have several entries, uh, several studies that are available on there. If you're looking for some good studies, um, again, I'll link them in the comments below. Um, uh, some really good studies and I've done several of them. So what I've done here is I've just taken some, some filler paper and I've created a list. And this one started July 2019. And um, by be, before the end of the year, uh, I plan on having this full. I believe I can do it. And it's not to just rush through the scripture, but it allows me to spend time daily within the word. And so as I start a devotional in, on you version, I write the title of it down. And then when I complete it, I write down the completed date. And uh, as of September 14th, I've completed 26 plans. I was in the scripture 72 days in a row, 18 weeks, 203 days within the year. So my goal for the rest of the year is every day in the word. And then I will write down what my days in the row and how many completed plans I have. And this way it keeps me intentional in my study. <clears throat> so I just made this very decorative so that I can remember to use it. And then I will need to create another one of these for 2020. So that is just a look in my faith planner. Uh, if you want more information about my faith planning or any of my other uh, planning ones, watch for my, my upcoming videos um, because I will be um, sharing a lot about this. I'm going to do a walkthrough real quickly and also transition from this one into my December so that I can get ready for the month of December, which is the holidays. So if you like this video, I hope you will hit the like button. If you've enjoyed what you're hearing here, please consider subscribing so that you will see more of what I'm doing. And also hit that notification button so you will be notified as soon as I upload a new, vi a new video. And remember, as I encourage you, I encourage myself. Be blessed.